Hey guys, this is my top 20 slasher films of the 1980s. This is a response video for both The Horror Man and Horrific Nightmares JM. I'll be leaving a link to both their channels in the description box. And they've been doing these top 20 horror movie lists for the 2020s. So they'll be doing one of these, um, I think every two weeks, I think, is how they're doing it. But anyways, um, they have one rule with these top 20 lists. And essentially, you can only pick one movie from any franchise. So you can't fill up a list with Friday the 15th or Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. Um, I went a bit further on my list. I decided not to include any of the big three slasher franchises in my top, top 20 for this time around. Um, okay, I'm going to go through these real quick. I'm not going to talk about the films. I'm just going to give you the listing and uh, the title. All right, so number 20, we have Madman. At 19, we have The Mutilator. At 18, we have Party Line. At 17, we have Doom Asylum. At 16, we have Cutting Class. Okay, now on to the next five. I can do this here. All right, so at number 15, we have X-Ray. At number 14, we have The Fun House. At number 13, we have Killer Workout. At number 12, we have Silent Scream. And at number 11, we have Terror Train. All right now we're on to the top 10 now. Okay, at number 10, we have Pieces. At number nine, we have Sleepaway Camp. At number eight, we have Motel Hell. At number seven, we have Slaughter High. At number six, we have Just Before Dawn. Okay. At number five, we have The Intruder, or Intruder. At number four, we have Curtains. At number three, we have Deadly Blessing. At number two, we have My Bloody Valentine. And at number one, we have The Burning. All right, guys, that's my list. I hope you guys enjoy it. And be sure to check out both Jay's and uh, Joe's uh, list as well. I'll put a link to both channels in the description box with their list. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all later.